Hey there everyone, how is it going? Tarun here and we're going to speak about HashiCorp Vault. So I want to cover two major things here. First of all, why do we need Vault? Like what sort of problems uh, is it addressing? And we'll also speak about how it is solving those problems, right? So when speaking about Vault, why do we need Vault, right? Simple thing that comes to my mind is secret management. Now, firstly, before speaking about secret management, we need to know about what secrets are, right? So secret, you can consider like anything that we are using to, uh, for, uh, to authenticate the user or authorize the user, right? Or some sort of confidential data, isn't it? So what do I mean by authentication? You would probably be aware of uh, username, passwords, database credentials, API tokens, right? Uh, these are used to authenticate the user. And then comes the part of authorizing the user or say any kind of machine or software. It comes with TLS certificates, host certificates, client certificates, right? You see where I'm going with secrets, right? And another form of secret that I'm able to think of is uh, confidential data, right? So say for example, you have an application uh, with a backend where you store users credit card details for future purposes. Say passport details you store or phone numbers you store or government identity cards details you store right usually people make sure that usually the developers make sure that these are encrypted and stored in the uh, databases right so that is one form of how you can protect the data itself but there are a lot of instances where uh, a lot of databases have been compromised and the hackers actually found these sort of confidential details in plain text format leaving Say thousands and millions of users uh, vulnerable right so these are the secrets that i'm talking about so when speaking about vault there is uh, one one jargon that is known as state of secret sprawl right state of secret sprawl uh, where these sort of secrets that we are talking about are usually present in configs version control system say for example uh, you have your code you use the credentials there and you commit your code and you push it to github right so there again your your credentials are present there say your api token or your username and password is present there in the code and anyone who's able to look at the code will be able to scrape your uh, credentials right and i also heard there are a lot of uh, bots that are deployed all over the internet to just scrape for these sorts of uh, credentials Say you have some sort of uh, Google Cloud Platform or AWS token placed in your code and any bot that uh, finds that token can uh, use it to their own benefit, right? And yeah, as I was telling, this this is the state of secret sprawl where your credentials are found in configs, version control system, logs, uh, files and all, right? So how does Vault solve this issue, right? So this actually, what I'm going to tell, um, comprises of uh, a lot of vault features. So when we speak about the, the secret management, vault's concept of secret management is centralization of secrets. So whatever secrets uh, vault is allowed to handle, it makes sure that all of them are stored in a centralized place and not spread all across uh, the configs, the version control system, logs, files, source code, etc. Right. So this ensures that first of all, the, the, the state of secret sprawl, um, there is like a decrease of chances of vulnerability there. Right. So firstly, yeah, the vault makes sure that the secrets are in a centralized place. And then vault also makes sure that you have an ability to uh, control who has access to what ability right say for example uh, you give uh, access to certain uh, users to create the credentials certain users can only read those credentials so all those sorts of uh, ACLs right we call them as ACLs then vault also has an ability to provide audits so if you want to know who created the credential uh, how many times was it uh, rotated who accessed these uh, credentials okay who generated the search all those sorts of details are available in the form of logs or any form of uh, audit plugin that you want to provide with vault and then vault also doesn't store these 
credentials in the back end in plain text format right because that's the main problem that we are talking about and vault itself uh, doesn't do that mistake it encrypts all these secrets in its own engine and it stores there and there is also another ability with vault which is known as dynamic secrets right say for example you have an application and you have it deployed all over uh, several places you will be able to dynamically generate the secrets for this application uh, based on wherever it's deployed with short living uh, tts time to live right so you'll be able to revoke these secrets when say uh, say for example you are suspecting a breach of that particular dynamic secret you'll be able to revoke it and since this dynamically generated uh, secret was only for this particular application that is deployed on this particular instance um, the blast radius is minimal right you do not affect any other applications a lot of application will not uh, start going down and yeah secrets with low ttl you can just create a secret for say 30 days and uh, provide it for each application and easy to rotate secrets so uh, say uh, you yeah, the same 30 day ttl right so every uh, say 28 days or every 29 days or every 20 days you can keep rotating the uh, secrets and vault also provides encryption as a service so if you remember we spoke about the uh, confidential data the credit card details passport details the phone numbers that are being stored in the backend so vault makes sure that it provides uh, sorry vault provides api calls which you can use in order to encrypt and decrypt these sort of data right because when it comes to application programming there uh, there is an involvement of a lot of programming languages there is an involvement of a lot of libraries different libraries right so you are not sure about the encryption and decryption algorithms uh, used there or how efficient they are and how reliable they are so vault also provides this uh, one stop solution where it is encryption as a service where it exposes a lot of apis that you can use to encrypt and decrypt the service management of the keys and all it's taken care by vault itself there is no uh, pain from a developer point of view for that and last but not the least say you have a vault server which you are using for all these features that i told you what if it goes down right what if the, what if the vault server crashes your whole infra will be in danger isn't it that's where vault high availability comes in vault also provides you this high availability feature where you can run multiple vault servers there is a vault master that is uh, elected by this service say you run three different vault servers uh, in three different regions and one of these vault servers will be a master at a time and the client can actually send the request to any of the three master uh, any of the three vaults sorry and uh, they will proxy the request to the master and the master will respond the uh, respond to the client so these are how uh, these are the different ways in which vault actually uh, lifts this heavy load of secret management we will actually speak a lot of um, features about vault the actual uh, features these are just like an overview of uh, what vault can solve but we will actually speak about the each and every feature that vault has in the upcoming uh, sessions right so thank you so much for listening to this uh, episode see you guys in the next episode thank you bye